saints of God, why don't you stand right now and prepare your heart to give honor and glory to the Lord who alone is worthy. Come on, come on, let's bless his name. Come on, let's lift him up. Come on, let's shout to God. Jesus. Yes. Right. 
That's right. And he deserves all the praise, glory, and honor. Because he is the truth. That's right. He is the light. Right. Yeah. To God be the glory. Yeah. Ooh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Father, accept our praises. Please, yes, Lord. Yes, Please Lord. let it be a sweet let it be a sweet sound to your ear. Let it be a sweet fragrance to your nose. Father, we do not want to send up no false fire. No pretense. No pretense. Because, Father, you said it. You said it, Jesus. You said that you are the truth. You are the life. And no man, no man, no man, no man can come to the Father but through you, Jesus. Father, we, oh, thank you, Jesus. We give you all glory and honor because it's all about you. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank you right now for Pastor Brady, Nigga's family. Keep them, oh God, until they return to the sanctuary. Anyone that's not here today, God, we ask that you would keep them in their several places, God. But Lord, we thank you right now for all. That's here in the sanctuary. Bring our minds on one accord. We shut out every distraction. Anything that would draw us out from your presence. Right now, God. We're here that you may be glorified. So we thank you right now for the men of God. That shall bring your word. God, we thank that your word is already settled, oh God. So we can receive it in the name of Jesus. Anoint him afresh, God. We thank you right now for the prophet, oh God. If you have a Yeah. and potent. 
in his power. Yes, yes. Amen. 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 Which allows us to relax. Yes. <laughs> yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. When, when you serve right. a God like this, yes. you can relax. Yes. Amen. Amen. I'll read the first uh, four verses from this 13th chapter of Acts. You that have it should find these words. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets, teachers, Barnabas and Simeon that was called Niger and Lucius of Serene and Manane which had brought uh, which had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch and Saul <laughs> and they ministered to the Lord and fasted and the Holy Ghost said Separate me Barnabas and Saul for the work whereunto I have called them. And when they had fasted and prayed and laid their hands on them, they sent them away. So they being sent forth by the Holy Ghost, <laughs> departed unto Seleucia. From thence they sailed to Cyprus and as they ministered to the Lord and fasted the Holy Ghost said mm. separate me Barnabas and Saul for the work whereunto I have called them All right. mm. and on. when they fasted and prayed mm. and ordained them yeah. they sent them away mm. so they being sent forth by the Holy Ghost yeah. Departed unto Seleucia. I want to talk about being separated unto God. Being separated unto God. And uh, for a subtitle, be in the church of absolute surrender. Be in the church of absolute surrender. How many of you know we got to be the church today? Amen. Amen. In 1 Timothy chapter number 3, Paul is writing to Timothy about the church. And he's saying some pertinent things that Timothy needs to know and understand concerning the church. In 1 Timothy chapter number 3, beginning at verse 14, Paul says to Timothy, These things write I unto thee, hoping to come unto thee shortly. But if I tarry long, that thou mayest know how thou oughtest to behave thyself in the house of God, which is the pillar of the living God, the pillar and ground of truth. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed in the world, and received up into glory. My, my, my. Amen. Amen. Paul, Paul, Paul said, listen, Timothy, I want you to understand how to behave yourself in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and ground of truth and without controversy, without conflict, with, 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 without challenge, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh. God was justified in the spirit. God was seen of angels. He was preached unto the Gentiles and believed on in the world. And God was seen, received up to glory. Paul points to several key issues in this verse of scripture. 
first the truth. He says, these things I write unto you, hoping to come unto thee. But if I tarry long, that thou mayest know how to behave thyself in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and ground of truth. The truth, the truth. It's, it, it's important because Jesus says, I am the way. Come on. Mm. I'm the truth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, brother. <laughs> and I am the life. The, I don't just give life. No, no. I am the life. I don't just tell the truth. I am. Come on. What's being told? <laughs> I don't just show you ways. I am the way. I'm all I, I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. Hey, man. Whatever it is, whatever it, is, it needs to be, I am that. I am. Come on, Bishop. John 1 and 17, the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth uh -huh. came by Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. The law, with, with its rigid and unattainable demands, was given by Moses. But the, the secret of God's love and divine ability to be pleasing to him came by Jesus Christ. Jesus made it all possible. Glory to God. John 8 and 32, Jesus says, you shall know the truth. You shall know the truth. You shall, you shall, you shall experience and be acquainted with the truth. You, you, you won't just be made aware of the truth, but you will experience the truth. And this experience will make you free. And, and see, I understand now why a lot of folk aren't free. Because, because they was told the truth. And the, they, they was made aware of the truth. But they have not yet experienced the truth. So, 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 so they, don't really, they don't really know what they've been told. And I said they don't know what they've been told. But, 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 but when you know the truth, when you experience the truth, you can't help but walk free. Amen. That's it. That's Amen. it. Come on now. Because it, it, Jesus said, it, it won't just set you free, it will make you free. It'll make you free. There were a whole lot of slaves that were set free. But they went back to go sharecropping because they were made free. Yeah. We set you free, but you ain't going to get no job. We'll set you free, but you're not going to figure out how to survive. We'll set you free, and then we'll sit here on the porch, and we'll wait for you to come back because we got systems and things in place so that you can't live free even though you've been set free. And so they went back to share crop because they felt like the only way I could survive is in this y'all ain't gonna help me with that but, but the truth of Jesus won't just set you free but it will make you free it will, it will walk you into a system where you won't be bound again it will walk you into a system where doors are open and ways are made and you are able to live this Christian life. Folk want to know why you so free? It's because I know truth. <laughs> I know the truth. And, 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 and I've experienced the truth. And I'm made free. I, I, I transcend systems and things that are, in, that are in place that are supposed to hold me down. I triumph over them because I'm made free. Anybody made free of that? Glory to God. You will know the truth. And the truth will make you free. He's, 
saying this is the pillar of truth. Yes, yes. This is the pillar. The church is the pillar and ground of truth. That's it. I tried to say yesterday, watch your mouth about what you say about the church is God's only place of safety. Yeah. Just like the ark in Noah's day, it's the only place of safety. This is the pillar yeah. and ground of truth. Uh -huh. and not only is it the pillar and ground of truth, it's the house of God. Yeah. He said, he said, he said, he said, Pastor Bola, watch how you behave yourself. Come on, Bishop. Because this is the pillar uh -huh. and ground of truth. Uh -huh. And it is the house of the living God. Uh -huh. Glory to God. The house of the living God. This is where, where, where that truth we just spoke of is. Where it is established, where it is revealed, where it is applied to the lives of those of us who believe. Uh -huh. And so he says, Timothy, I want you to know how to conduct yourself where the truth of God is made manifest. Mm -hmm. Know how to. Now, 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 please note and understand and keep it in context. This verse, along with. The other 14 verses prior to this 15th verse in 2 Timothy, uh, 1 Timothy chapter 3. Paul is not just talking about behaviors when he told Timothy, I want you to know how to behave yourself in the house of God. He, he's not just talking about how you act. He said, I want you to know how how to conduct yourself. It, 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 when, when you look at the first uh, 14 verses, he's talking about putting leaders in place. Uh -huh. He says a, a, a bishop should be this, and uh -huh. a deacon should be that, uh -huh. and, and I want you to know how to behave yourself. Because what he, he, he's talking about, if you're going to consecrate a bishop, if you want to ordain a deacon, if the leaders in the, in the fellowship, if, if the preachers and the pastors and, and, and the lead servants and, and, and the intercessors, and, 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 and if they have spouses, this is what to be expected. And I want you to know how to behave yourself. He, he said he... He wasn't just telling Timothy how to conduct himself as it relates to his behavior, but rather how you ought to go about setting leaders in the house of God because this is the pillar and ground of truth. This is the place where the living God reveals himself. And I want you to understand how critical it is when you're putting leaders in the house of God. The Living Bible says that you will know what kind of men to choose as officers yes, sir. Yes, sir. for the church of a living God, which contains and hold high uh -huh. the truth of God. Yeah. Yeah. Did you hear that, prophet? That's, that, that's what the Living Bible says. It says, it, it, King James said, I want you to know how to behave yourself. But the Living Bible says, I want you to know what kind of men to choose as officers for the church of the living God. Yeah. Yeah. My God. And as Paul was saying that to Timothy, I think Paul may have known that down the road as he went about planting churches all over the land, that there would be fellowship celebrations. Mm. Amen. Be in the church of the living God and rejoicing and being the containers of the truth of God. It may, Paul said, it may be a while before I get to you. You, you may have a few anniversaries before I get back and, and see you. But, but if you're going to continue to be the church of the living God, if you will keep rejoicing and, and, and holding high the truth you contain, you better know how to pick leaders. Can I teach this? So Paul says, I want you to know how to behave when picking people to lead in the house of God because it's the, it's the church of the living God. And if we would keep celebrating and, and serving 
rejoicing in the Lord, being the church of the living God and rejoicing and holding high his truth, this truth that makes us free, yeah. then we must know where we are when we come to the house of God. I said, we got to know where we are. Anybody know where they are? Well, I, I, in, in case you don't. Come on. In case you don't. Look at Hebrews, the 12th chapter. Hebrews, the 12th chapter. You, you, you got to know where you are. He said, he said you got to know how to behave yourself. You got to know how to put leaders in place uh -huh. because, because you need to understand where you are. You are you're not just coming to a, a turning point or such and such Christian fellowship or, or, or such and such house of God. You got to know where you are. Amen. And, and in this 12th chapter of Hebrews, beginning at verse 18, the Hebrew writer makes it clear where you are. He says, for you are not come unto the mount that might be touched and that burned with fire, nor unto blackness and darkness and tempest. See, that's where they came to in the Old Testament. Yeah. They came to that mountain yeah. where, 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 where fire descended down and the skies got black and, and thunderings thundered. So much so that they, they, once they had that encounter at the mountain, they told Moses, look here, you go talk to God. That's the book. And you come back and let us know what God said. Preacher. Amen. God, God brought the whole congregation to the mountain and he was thundering and smoke was going up and the skies got black and, and, and Lord have my fuck me talking about I just want to get in his presence. <laughs> they said after that, Moses, you go talk to God. That's your job. It's funny how folks start knowing what the pastor's job is. <laughs> That's your job. Your job. But, but 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 the Hebrew writer said, now on this side of the cross, that ain't that, that you ain't coming to that. That, that that's that's not your spirit. He said, you 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 have not come to that. But verse nineteen, and the sound of a trump, and the voice of words which voice they that heard entreated that the word should not be spoken to them anymore. Yeah, that's what they said. Don't do that no more. <laughs> For they could not endure that which was commanded. And if so, much as a beast touched the mountain, it should be stoned or thrust through with a dart. My God, my God. Not only did God thunder on the mountain and make a, a, a great, spectacular showing of himself, but nothing could touch the mountain. If, if anything, so much as a beast, if, if, if an animal, if a bug flew into the, the mountain, it, it was destroyed immediately. I said it was destroyed in me. Aren't you glad that the throne you come to, there is a high priest that, that can be touched? Woo, glory. Glory, 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 glory. You all thank God that Jesus has made it different for you. Somebody say, it's different for me. It's different for me. It's different for me. I thank God Jesus made stuff different for me. I, I, I thank God that he came all the way from heaven down just to make stuff different for me. Glory. Glory, hallelujah. Verse 21 says, and so terrible was the sight that Moses said, I exceedingly fear and quake. He says, verse 22, but you are come to Mount Zion and unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of angels. Hey, now, this prophet, God got 
got to remind me of, 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 of where I'm going. Because sometimes, can I, can I just be out there and transfer? Sometimes I'll be wondering who's going to be in church. And, and, and there were days I was thinking I might have to be there by myself. And, 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 and folk will leave you and, and leave you hanging sometimes. But, but, but every now and then the Holy Ghost will remind me that it don't matter who show up. You will be in a company of an innumerable glory, hallelujah, company of angels. Glory, 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 glory. Hey, have you been this night? <laughs> glory to God. You are in the company of an innumerable. You can't count them. <laughs> company of angels. My God, my God. To the general assembly of the first boy. To the general assembly. Of the firstborn to the general assembly of those that have been birthed, amen, on the onset, those that tasted the, 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 the Holy Ghost first, those that were first born again, the general assembly of those that were brought out first. Yeah. Of those that, that Jesus went to hell to get, yeah. preached to the captives, yeah. and oh. those in hell, and, and brought them out yeah. after he died and took them on to glory. You in the company of the firstborn. Yeah. 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 And I like being around them. <laughs> the general assembly of the firstborn. Yeah. Cause these that came later, they they something else, I tell you. And and that's why when when these that came later act funny, I make sure I'm in the company of the first one. The general assembly. Of the first boy. Yeah. So even when they don't show up, I am not forsaking the assembly. Y'all yeah. gonna help me today. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. I can be, I ain't gotta be in here. Yeah. And I can get with them because I will not forsake yeah. the assembly. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Come on, fish up. Yeah. Of the first boy. Because yeah. they know how to show up. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Which are written in heaven. And to God, the judge of all. That's where you are. You're in the new level company of angels. You are in the general assembly of the firstborn. Which were written in heaven. And to God, the judge of all, to the spirits of just men made perfect. Is it in the book? Yes. To the spirits of just men made perfect that have been completed yes. as they sit in the heavenly places. Yes. Yes. And to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. Ooh, yes. And to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than that of Abel. Amen. This blood that was shed speaks better things than that of Abel. And, and, and you can't really appreciate that until you understand the power of, of, of Abel's blood. Because when Abel's blood was shed, amen, it cried from the ground. And God responded to the cry of Abel's blood. But I come to a place that where what this blood that was shed, it's speaking better things because it don't just cry about what happened to it, but it declares what's gonna happen to the world. It declares what's gonna happen to darkness. It declares, y'all, this blood, this blood, it gives me strength from day to day, and it will never. Never, 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 ever lose its power. You know anything about this blood? It reaches to the highest 
his mountain and it, and, and it flows to the to the Lord's valley. I tell you, speaking better things than Abel, than, than the blood of Abel. And he says, "See that you refuse not him that speaketh." For if they escape not who refuse him that spake on earth, that is Moses, then much more shall not we escape if we turn away from him that speaketh from heaven, that is Christ. You got to know where you are when you come in here. And when you come, I ain't going to die. You better understand where you forfeit. Come on now. Not only must we know where we are, but we gotta understand this is Zion, God's chosen habitation forever. The church of the living God. The church. Of the living God. Yes. The church yes. of the living God. Yes. And, and, and we have to be a church yes, of absolute surrender. Yes. God prepared for himself to work his will out of was a body. Mm. And we are that prepared body. The structure he established on earth. To have authority and function was a body. Yes. And the structure established spiritually is the church. <laughs> his will and purpose will advance from his church, not the government. Mm, make that clear. Not school systems. Yeah, yeah. Not the workforce. Not community action agencies that, 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 that don't consist of or, or, or have the power and influence that the church is to have. All these entities should spring from a vibrant church. I'm not saying we shouldn't have government, but the government should spring from a vibrant church. I'm not saying we shouldn't have uh, 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 schools and, and, and community action agencies and, and help aids and fur, uh, 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 Red Cross and all those different things, but they should spring from a vibrant church. They should, it, it shouldn't be separate from the church. We shouldn't be locked in with our heads stuck in the sand singing songs and, and shouting while other agencies... Come on, somebody. All these entities just spring from a vibrant church because uh, aside from us, like medicine, they can only treat symptoms and address the effects of a problem. But they cannot get rid of or cast down or eliminate the actual problem. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. I said every all these things outside of God, they, they, just like medicine, they can only treat the symptoms yes. of the problem. Yes. But they don't get rid of the problem. Yes. But it's the church's job to get rid of the problem. Mm. Amen. 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 And, 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 and the devil can't get away from the church yes. when we're on our job. We will shut it down. We will cast it down. We will bring it to an end. And, and, and he can put forth a variant of his foolishness. And he can come this way, he can come that way. He can flip that way. But he continues to give us power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and that, that nothing by any means I don't care what it do I don't care how it comes Jesus rose and said all power not most of the power but all power is given unto me even 
even the power for the fool to be a fool. Yeah. You ought to thank God you a fool. Yeah. He gave you the power to be a fool. That's right. All power. That's right. That's right. That's right. Oh, yeah. Give it unto me. Yeah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yeah. And even if he gave you the power to be a fool, it's so just like Pharaoh. He said, so I can show off my power. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. God will do what you want to do. So I can show you who I am. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 It's the church, y'all. God will use a church of absolute surrender. A, a church that has a real prayer life that is completely yielded to the heart of God so that you know what he wants. A church that is obedient in worship that is completely yielded to the will of God so that you know what he said. A church that walks in holiness and righteousness that is completely yielded to the righteous response in all things separated unto God. Yeah. So you are a trusted witness because you know how God is. When you walk in holiness, you know how God is. It's not just about what would Jesus do, but it's how would Jesus be. What? Amen. Praise God for those that, 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 that are walking in what Jesus would do. <laughs> yeah. That grit their teeth and squeeze their knuckles and force themselves to do what Jesus would do. <laughs> I really want to, but what would Jesus do? <laughs> I sure would like to, but what would Jesus do? Hey, I, you know, I pray <laughs> God for that. Because that takes a level of, of, of walking, it takes a level, but 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 at some point you gotta grow past what what Jesus would do. And be how Jesus would be. Because when your mind is renewed, you will be how he would be and automatically do what he would do. The reason you gotta grit your teeth and force yourself to do what he would do is because you're not yet how he is. I want to get to being how he is. Because the Bible says, as he is, so are we. In this life, in this life, not when you get to heaven, in this life. God needs some folk like Jesus down here. He don't need you like Jesus up there. They got heaven covered. They need some folk like Jesus down here. Those that walk in holiness yeah. has decided to be how he is. Yeah. Has, has decided to have a mindset yes. that not my will but thy will, will, will be done yeah. nevertheless. Yeah. Nevertheless. Yeah. nevertheless. It's going to take absolute surrender yeah. Yeah. to walk this way. Yeah. God can only trust a church of absolute Surrender. Amen. Yes, man. We attend services, but are we being the church in an area? Are we being? Are we being the church? Our lie are our lives really given. Amen. Amen. You gotta understand the church isn't given to you. You're given to it. When you really understand, you're given to it. Initially, initially. As a sinner, the body is given to you. But saved and redeemed, you're given to it. Amen. Because God got some things in you 
that he purposed in you before you got here, that he intended yeah. Yeah. for you to give. Right. Hey, oh, look at, look at, look at Numbers okay. chapter number 10. Okay. Numbers, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. Genesis, no, no, no. We don't went too far. We don't went too far. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, chapter number 10. Amen. 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 Where I am, there shall you be. Amen. There shall you be. Numbers chapter 10, verse number 29. Verse number 29. Look at this carefully now. And Moses said unto Hobit, the son of Ragu, Ragu, the Midianite, Moses' father-in-law. We are journeying unto the place of which the Lord said, and look at this, I will give it you. Yeah. Yeah. Come thou with us, and we will do thee good, for the Lord has spoken good concerning Israel. And I know the understanding is, I will give it to you. But let me share Rhema. Amen. In truth, he said, I will give it you. 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 Mm -hmm. We're journeying to a place where the Lord promised mm -hmm. he will give it us. And, and we're, we're busy wanting to get to places that God will give to us. And God is trying to give you to the place. Uh -huh. That's, right, sir. That's why God can't get you to certain places in your life. <laughs> because you want him to give it to you when he's trying to prepare you to be given to it. <laughs> Why? Because he want to get you to that place so that you can be given to that place and maintain that place. But if you ain't ready, you will get there and wreck the place. Y'all ain't gonna help me in here. <laughs> Amen. Oh Lord, I want this. And Lord, I want this lifestyle. I want this marriage. And I want this that. And I want this that. But God wants to, He don't want to give you a job. He don't want to give you a marriage. He don't want to give you a lifestyle. He wants to give you to the job. He wants to give you to the marriage. He want to give you to the lifestyle. He want to give you to the ministry. He don't want to give a ministry to you. He want to give you to the ministry. So he has to prepare you to be given to it because he's taking you to a place that he said he will give it you. That's it right there, Bishop. And if you ain't ready to be given, then you ain't ready to be there. Amen. Cause I just want it. I just want to have it. I just want to get it. I'm trying to get to that place. God don't want you to wreck the place. He wants you to be given. And so it's a good job, not because you got a good job. It's a good job because I they hired me. Come on, somebody. Because they hired me. So you can say like Jesus said to Zacchaeus, salvation has come to your house. Because they hired me. Somebody have an opportunity to be delivered because they hired me. Somebody have an opportunity to receive healing because they hired me. Somebody has an opportunity to meet God. Because I was given it. Whatever it is. 
whatever circumstance. God wants to give it you and make it good. Amen. 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 Glory to God. You got to be given. You got to be given. Jesus said, those whom the Father has given me, I have lost none. You know why he didn't lose anything that was given to him? Because he was first given to it. He was blessed, broken, and given. He, he, was, he, he, he was doing a picture of himself when he called the, the young man to bring me your lunch. And, and, then, and I see the problem that is before us. And, and I see that the, the thing that look like insufficient farms yeah. wow. for the 5,000. Yeah. Amen. Wow. But, but because I'm blessed, the Bible, John says, like, he, he, he gave thanks. Yes, yes, there it is. And then he broke the bread. Yeah. And then he gave the bread. Right. I said he gave thanks. Yes. He didn't look at this and say, well, I'm going to do it this. No. He didn't look at this and say, Lord, this ain't enough. He didn't look at this and say, God, I don't know how you want it. Then he gave thanks. He said, thank you. Thank you. Now, to work with. Thank you. This ain't a whole lot, but thank you. Thank you. We ain't doing a whole lot, but thank you. Thank you. It don't look like much, but God, you this what you thank. Thank you. Thank you. He gave thanks. And when he had given thanks, the book says he prayed. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. You got to understand that, that when you thank God for calling you out of darkness, when you thank God for taking you and making something beautiful out of your life, when you thank God for taking somebody that look like insufficient funds. Amen. To satisfy the needs of mankind. But you know that once I am given, I will not run out. Once I'm given, amen, there will be an endless supply. But from the blessing, amen, to the giving, there is a breaking. Glory to God. He blessed it, and then he broke it, and then he gave it. God can't give you until he breaks you, until he breaks you, until he breaks you. you. And there are going to be some things that have to be broken. Amen. And when God breaks you, I said when God break you, I said when God, when God, when God break you, he got a plan, God got a plan to give you, and he will give you, he will give you, I said he will give you, you will keep showing up, I said you will keep showing up, when folk thought you was long gone, when folk you out, you will keep showing up, and it'll be fragments to take up. Amen. This ain't all I got. I said, this ain't all I got. One preacher said, I might be out of time, but I ain't out of word. I got more. I got more. He will break you. He will break you. He will break you. I said, he will break you off. Uh, uh, he will break you off and give you an endless supply. Glory to God. Moses said, we going to a place where God said he going to give it us. Turn the point. You got to understand that we're going to a place in society. We're going to a place in life that God said he's going to give it us. And we got to be ready to be given. We got to be ready to be given to a society scared of corona. We got to be given, be ready to be given to a society that's worried about the economy crashing. We got to be ready to be given to a society that believes in devils and witches and warlocks. We got to be ready to be given to a society that don't know God. We got to be ready to be given to a society. He said, I'm taking you to a place that I'm going to give it you. You running from the world. You trying to be a, a void circle.
circumstances and avoid situations. And, and Lord, keep me away from that. He said, I'm trying to give it you. Yeah. My God, my God, my God. You want to be given to the lofty places. You want to be given to the plus places. Well, you're going to lay back. Amen. But, but, but that ain't where he's trying to give you. That's right. I don't need a lamp right here. I, I, There's nothing. Plenty of light. <laughs> plenty of light. Mm -hmm. Need nobody come up here with a lamp. We want to be given what we ain't needed. Let your light so shine. Let your light so shine. Let your light so shine. Oh, glory to God. Let our light so shine that we only want it to shine next to another light. Yeah. already a lamp right there. Go somewhere where it's dark and let your light so shine. Oh, I ain't on it. I ain't on it. What if you try to bring a lamp into a dark room and a lamp that ain't no light in here? I ain't on it. That's real right there. You only want to sit next to a Christian. You don't want to be around the body, but you only want to be around it. <laughs> Let my light so shine. We just gonna bump lights. <laughs> what was he telling you to let your light so shine? He's trying to give it to you. When you take that lamp into a dark room, you're trying to give that darkness light. Yeah. Light and life. Yeah. Yeah. Light yeah. and life. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. I ain't going. They fools over there. <laughs> and I understand there are some things you need to withdraw from. Yeah. There are some things you need to be separated from, especially if you ain't got no power. On, and you ain't got no strength. I understand that, yeah. but 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 there uh, there ought to be a time when you have matured to a place yeah. where you ain't never scared. Right. Right. Amen. You ain't never scared. Right. You ain't, you you right. the one that's contagious. Right. I ain't scared to get there and catch unrighteousness. <laughs> I ain't scared to <laughs> chewing on the lines and coughing up foolishness. Now you doing what they doing? I don't want to be around that like you gonna catch it. unrighteousness. You should be contained. They ought to catch righteousness. At least while I'm here, they curb some of that behavior. While I'm here, they watch what they say. When I'm here, they they act like they got some sense. They catch righteousness. And they can get sick again when I leave. Then you're seeing sick when I leave. Yeah. But while I'm here, yeah. they gonna be they gonna be all right. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. I ain't afraid to go home. While you driving there, you ought to be singing, I got a feeling. Yeah. <laughs> Everything gonna be all right. Yeah. Cause you won't make it all right. Because it's giving me. Yeah. That family reunion gonna be giving you. Yes. <laughs> yes. That gathering gonna be giving you. Yes. And don't let them off the hook. You're the righteousness of God. When they oh oh, oh. that old Eleanor, watch what you say. Don't tell them don't mind me. You mind me. Yeah. That old Eleanor, yeah. watch yeah. what you say. Right. Watch how you act. Yes. How dare you throw off your godliness to appease somebody? Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. Amen. Mind me. Yes. Yes. Pay attention yes. to the righteousness that I, I didn't do all of this for nothing. Right. I'm not laying before God and praying and telling Him to create in me and, and renew me and prepare me and then get here and tell you to not mind me. You're going to be given. You're going to be given. 
You got to get ready to be given turning point as individuals in our lives, but as a, more so as a body of believers. We're going to be given. And if God can't give me to you, then he certainly can't give me to the world. Oh, Hold on. Some folk, some folk just logged off. They just logged off, right? They just logged off with right them. Yeah, 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 yeah. If, if God can't give you to, to, to Sister Frazier, if God can't give you to Sister Gwen, if God can't give you to me, then he ain't going to give you to the world. We got to love each other. We got to be a supply to one another. This is the place where the first issuance of our supply is. We are fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplies. You ain't gonna roll your eyes at us and bat your eyes at them. Right. Right. Come on, let's say that. That's it. That's it. This way you practice forgiveness. This way you practice long suffering. This way you practice. Come on, somebody. Say that. You ain't on somebody that loves God, but you want somebody that curse your God. Yes. Yes. Make it make sense. Come on, right. mm -hmm. We're going to be given. We got to prepare y'all to be given. We got to prepare to be given. We got to prepare to be given. Amen. We got to be a church of absolute surrender. Amen. And when I prepare to be given, I have to understand that I have been separated. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to yeah. God. Yeah. Glory to God. Can you yeah. imagine yeah. being in a prayer meeting? We just praying and fasting for God to be glorified yeah. and for the yeah. manifestation yeah. of his will yeah. and the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. And the Holy Ghost calls your name. Yeah. And says, separate so and so and such and such unto me. Yeah. For to do my work. How many of you know you've been called? Oh. And not just called with, 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 with a, a vague and general call. You've been called by name. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. The Holy Ghost called you out Amen. to be separated yeah. unto the work of God. Yeah. You are special and valuable. You are special and valuable. Amen. Precious in his sight. He said, they shall be mine in the day that I make up my jewels. Glory. That, that, that's how valuable you are to God. You are precious stone. Not you're not just lively stone, but you are precious stones. He said you're gonna be his in the day that he's making up his jewels. You ain't just a rock. Amen. You ain't just some dust. You ain't just a brick. Amen. You trying to be a brick house. Amen. You better understand you his house. And you valuable. You valuable. You gonna be his in the day that he make up his jewel. How precious are you? How pre look around the room. Look around the room. Look at the precious stones. Look at the precious stones. That person is valuable next to you. That person is valuable in front of you. That person is valuable behind you. Look at the precious. You better be careful how you treat. Come on. Yeah. That's it. That's it right there. That's right. Yeah. You know where your jewels are. Yeah. Amen. We don't know nothing about each other. But yet we valuable. Yeah. That's it. We got to be a church, y'all, of absolute surrender. Because God is going to give these things us. 
next week when you when you listening to the news and you seeing craziness in the world, you're gonna hear the Holy Ghost say, I'm gonna give it to you. My God, my God. When you're going through your feed on Facebook and you seeing craziness going on, Holy Ghost gonna say, When you're thinking about your family gathering and you know that one going to be high and these going to be drunk and, and they're going to be acting a fool and you're talking about I ain't going, Holy Ghost going to say, I'm going to give it to you. When you understand that there's a whole lot of false teaching going on out there. And a whole lot of bad representation of, of, of the kingdom of God. All of a sudden, your brothers and sisters in here are going to be very important. And they ought to become very important to you. Because you're going to hear the Holy Ghost say, I'm going to give it y'all. I'm going to give it y'all. Now I see why Satan won't be hating you. Because... He knows God is trying to give that us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I see why Satan don't want me speaking to you. Yeah. Because he knows God is trying to give that us. Yeah. Now I see why Satan is trying to divide us yeah. and, and pull us apart and pit us one yeah. against another. Yeah. Because he knows God is trying to give that yeah. us. He wants us to spend the rest of our time here trying to get along. Because as long as we're trying to get along, we'll leave him alone. Right. We ain't got time. Because we still working. We are journeying to a place, y'all, that God said he's going to give it us. Now, we're all over the map right now spiritually maturity and all of that but the one thing that we're all together on is the foundation of Christ Amen. we're all on the foundation of Christ and so anybody that's on the foundation of Christ in here is valuable I don't care where they are spiritually I don't care what they're wrestling with. I don't care what they're dealing with. I don't care what they're stumbling in. I don't care if they got to overcome some stuff. I don't care if you all in their business and know their business. That's a child of God. And we got to pray for them. I said, we got to pray for them. I said, we got to pray for them. And we got to wait on them. You Look at Ephesians chapter 4. Glory to God. Look at Ephesians chapter 4. Amen. 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 Glory to God. 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 Ephesians chapter 4. Beginning at verse 11. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting and the maturing and the raising up of the saints. Why? For the work of the men to release them into the work of the ministry. For the edifying and building up of the body of Christ. Till we all come into the unity of the faith, but then, then, then such and such belief till we are with them Baptist folk till we are to them Pentecost, them Pentecost till we are them holding it till we are till we are till we all come into the unity of the faith We all got to get here. Yeah. We all got to get here. Yeah. We all got to get here. Mm -hmm. He got to get here too. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever just popped in your mind, him too. <laughs> Whoever just popped in your mind, yep, yeah, yeah. her too. Yeah, right. Till we all. Yeah. Whoever just popped in, yep, yeah, them too. Yeah. Yeah. And so you got to pray for them. 
I'm talking about real prayer. Amen. I'm talking about the foolishness where you say, oh, I'm praying for him. <laughs> Quit telling that lie. No, you ain't. You praying on him. Because you're talking about him. Jesus Christ. You're saying stuff that you ain't going to do. You P R E Y. Why? Praying on him. Yep. You ain't praying for him. Yeah. 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 But we got to. We got to pray for him. We got to pray for him. We got to pray that God brings them to a place that he can use them because he wants a church of absolute surrender. God is a king and every king has a kingdom and it is the nature of a kingdom to increase. God wants to increase his kingdom. Amen. Wonderful as you are, he ain't just about you. You ain't his kingdom. You, you, you ain't his kingdom. That would be embarrassing to a king. To say, behold my kingdom. You, you ought to want to make his kingdom come. You ought to want to make his kingdom great. Those that went out to make Caesar's kingdom great, they went to make it great. They started wars and they took territory and they, and they took money because they wanted to make his kingdom great. You ought to want to make it great. You ought to be seeking to take territory to the kingdom. Places that belong to the Lord. Places that belong to the Lord. Well, we don't want to go there. The earth. Come on, somebody. <laughs> the earth. Did you read it? The earth is the Lord's. And we got to take territory. Spiritual territory. Natural territory. Back to God. And it's going to require a church of absolute surrender that you prepare your hearts to pray because God is going to align our hearts right now to be that church that is blessed broken and given he's going to prepare you to be that saint that is blessed. Come on, say I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Say it, say it like you may. Come on, say it from your belly. Say it from your belly. Say it from your belly. Say it to the degree to make hell say. Hell ain't looking up at that. Come on. I'm blessed of God. Yes, sir. Say I'm blessed to make your circumstance. Say I'm blessed to the degree that makes some demons become insubordinate. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I said make some demons become insubordinate. You know what it is being insubordinate. A lot of y'all insubordinate. Insubordinate when you talk back to authority. Amen. Make some demons become insubordinate. When they receive their assignment against you, make that demon start talking back. Well, uh, hey, you should. Hey. <laughs> Make them hesitate. Make them argue with their authority. Don't make them come running and skipping. Cause them to think twice. Cause I'm blessed. And I'm prepared to be broken. I'm yielding myself to being broken. I'm yielding myself to being broken because I know God has a plan for me to be given. He's going to give it me. He's going to give it me. 
He's going to give it me. And he's going to give it us as a body of believers. And we got to be a church of absolute surrender. As you position yourself in prayer, as you position yourself in prayer and get your heart ready. Some might stand, some might kneel, some might sit, some might lay before God. It don't matter, but get yourself ready. Get yourself ready. Because he is taking us to a place, y'all. We are journeying to a place. We are journeying to a place. We are journeying to a place in society. We are journeying to a place in this community. We are journeying to places in our homes. We are journeying to places in our all hearts and minds. And God said he's going to give it us. He's going to give it us. He's going to give it us. So we got to be prepared, y'all. We got to be prepared. We got to be prepared to be given. We got to be prepared to be given. We got to be prepared to be given. Given in the name of Jesus. 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 Blessed in the name of Jesus. Broken in the name of Jesus. Given in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. 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 Father, we glory to God. We magnify Glory to God. 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 We stand before you even right now. Glory to God. 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 Glory to Apart from darkness, and get apart from wickedness, Bless. apart from the working of evil, God, and get cause us to be Bless. separated in Jesus' name. Broken to the prince of your glory, Father. Bless. Cause us to be governed and constrained and constricted Bless. by the power that's in Broken your blood and in your word, oh God. Bless. I ask that you would saturate Broken and get. permeate. Every fiber of our being, oh God, Broken and get. cause us to be anointed Bless. and appointed unto you, O oh God, that we will be divided out of the number, O oh God, and separated unto you even forevermore. I pray that you would cause your ministry in us to be truly and genuinely effectual, O oh God, and efficacious. Make us, O oh God, to be bold in the fire for the praise of your glory in the name of Jesus. Give us understanding. Give us clarity, O oh God. Make us to understand what is our purpose, what is our place, what is our scope and range of operation to the praise of your glory. Give us the power that we need, oh God, to do exactly what you would have us to do in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, connect us one to another in love, oh God. Connect us. One to another in love, oh God. Connect us one to another in true love, real love, agape love, oh God. Cause us, oh God, to declare the need for one another. For us to desire one another, oh God. For us to require and request one another, oh God. For us to reach for one another, oh God. Allow us to see the benefit of our coming together. Allow us to see the victory in our coming together. Allow us to see the triumph in our coming together. Make us, oh God, to stand on a solid rock and show your glory to the world, oh God. Show your glory to the world, oh God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. It is so in Jesus' name. And we receive it even right now. We receive it even right now. Even right now, oh God. We receive it. We receive it and we honor you, oh God. We thank you. We bless your name. We give you glory. 
in Jesus' name. Glory to your name, Lord. In Jesus' name. Glory to your name, Lord. In Jesus' name. Glory to your name, Lord. It is so right now. Glory to your name, Lord. In Jesus' name. Glory to your name. Amen. Glory to your name. Amen. Glory to your name. Amen. Glory to your name, Lord. Glory to your name, Lord.